Hey guys, a couple of you have asked about the D-Tuna. Um, apparently, sometimes these are difficult to get set up if you don't know what to do to set them up. So I'm gonna get started right away. The first thing to do is what I call zero out the guitar. The zero out process. First, unlock the locking nut. Next, pull the D-Tuna out into the drop tuning position. Now, loosen the seed screw that's in the side of the D-Tuna. Be careful not to take it out and be careful not to drop it. Then, back out the E-string fine tuner all the way. Then maybe a half a turn in. Set the other five as you wish. One third from the top is good. Next, now using your tuning keys on the headstock, tune to the drop D position, D-A-D-G-B-E, with the D tuna still pulled out, stretching your strings as you go. Now you're basically done. You just need to push in the D tuna and uh, get the small Allen key and use the Allen key to adjust your tuning to E. Generally, you just need to screw it in some to get to E. Then check it back and forth, adjust as necessary, and then lock your locking nut. Now you're basically done. Just remember not to use the fine tuner on the low E string. Here's some custom builds that we do for you to look at while we move along. We also do custom setups and all kinds of custom guitar work. Just keep us in mind for that. Uh, so now, if you have your guitar and you want to adjust your D tuna and zero it out and everything. So here we go. Uh, on your mark, get set, go. Now get your guitar and let's uh, work on it together. So we're gonna unlock the locking nut unlock all three loose enough for the strings to pass beneath it and not to be crimped in any way now excuse me while i whip this out now we're going to pull out the d tuna see this little thing right here that little thing that goes around that locking screw um, sometimes will catch on the edge of that locking screw but the d tuna will move as you just saw so sometimes you have to push that down a little in order to pull it uh, out. Um, uh, so get in the habit of pushing down a little and pulling out, and that'll work good for you. Now it's time to loosen the seed screw. Just put your Allen wrench in there and loosen that some. Be sure not to drop it. It's very hard to find if you drop it. Then back that all the way out the fine tuner. You want it to look kind of like this, that one all the way out and the rest about uh, one third of the way down is the best way for that to look. Pause the video here and tune to drop D. Okay, we're back. I wanna explain another little thing here. Sometimes when you lock your locking nut, it changes the tuning. The main reason is this angle isn't correct. You need this string tree to pull down low enough to bottom the string out in the valley of the back of the nut to prevent that from happening. Next, we're going to push in the D tuna and tune to E with the seed screw. I just pluck your string and have your tuner on if you use a tuner or if you do it by ear you can compare it to your second fret on uh, on the D string but uh, that's how I check them then pull it out check it to D and uh, push it in and then check it to E again and just make sure it's balanced and uh, working properly and there you go Now you're really done. Just lock your locking nut. This is me unlocking it, but lock your locking nut and uh, you, you know, you've checked it back and forth. It's all good now. Lock it and you're good to go. You've just finished. 
Congratulations. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. That extra thing I was gonna tell you that makes the D tuna hard to pull out. You see that thing right there? That's a little tension type spring that pushes against the D tuna uh, there. You can bend that some. Uh, just bend it carefully. Some people even break them off, but you can bend that some and fix that. And I forgot to give you that little tip, so stuck it here on the end. All right, have a good one. Thank you for looking at this video. Bye-bye.